what is the shortest and the fastest path to my first $1,000 online? This was the question I asked myself about 12 years ago. And today I have the answers. There are two case scenarios and four stages. And today I'm going to walk you through step by step on how you can implement them. The goal for today's video is by the end of it, you should have a clear path, clear blueprint on how to earn your first $1,000 online. AI is not going to pay you money, but people will. So there are two case scenarios. First, you either solve a problem a person might have or you save time for the person. Let me picture this in your head. When I was getting started 12 years ago, 13 years ago, I was a food delivery guy. I was delivering pizza with a car that I was renting. And in the meantime, I was watching YouTube tutorials. Back then, we didn't have that many YouTube tutorials, but I was watching tutorials on my phone. And I was watching tutorials on how to build a website. I wanted to become a developer because I wanted to sell websites to people. I was a complete beginner. I didn't even know what a website was, but I was learning. I found my first client. It was a lady. She was a model and she needed a website where she can, she could showcase her portfolio with pictures and photographies. And I told her it's going to cost a thousand dollars to make her a website. And this is how I earned my one thousand dollars. Of course, now I had to deliver the product, which it took me about four months to learn simple stuff or to learn how to create a simple website and deliver it to her. Nowadays with AI, you can create a website in two, three minutes. Easy. But let's come back to the core. So solving a problem or saving time. Let's say you're writing a blog post using AI for your client. In the first case scenario, the blog owner doesn't know anything about blog posts. Here you come and you solve a problem by creating a blog post because the person is not experienced, they don't know what a blog post is, they don't know how to write it, etc. The second case scenario is the person or your customer already knows how to write blog posts. He's an experienced blogger, but now he or she doesn't want to waste time writing these blog posts by themselves. Here you come to save them time and you start writing the blog posts using AI. Whoever wants to make money either online or offline, remember, always remember this. You either solve a problem or you save time to other people. That being said, now that you know the core, it's time for the four stages in which we're going to execute. We're going to uh, create a product. We're going to pack it. We're going to sell it. And we're going to make money. Stage number one is to choose your offer or let's say AI offer. Choose an AI offer to deliver. Back in the day, like I said, with me, I was making websites for money. And it was time consuming and it was a bit difficult. Nowadays with AI, you can pick whatever niche you want. In today's example, I have given some of the most trendy currently, which are AI generated content, that being blog posts, Facebook ads, TikTok ads, also AI video editing. This could be scripting, video editing, video designing, etc. We have AI lead sourcing, AI ads or image designing, or also we have AI website development like i told you in the beginning you can do websites for customers today we're going to focus on this one ai content generation creating blog posts for other people and if you're thinking oh ross but blog posts and blogging is dead this is outdated let me show you something this is google trends and in google trends i've typed ai blog posting and as you can see let me remove the first uh, this one so let's i said remove ah uh, okay hold on I have to remove it like this. Okay, now we're talking AI blog posting. Look at this. Look at the graph. It is going to be growing and growing. And the predictions from Google is that this is going to skyrocket in the future. So AI blog posting right now, currently very, very trendy, very popular. But if I type blog posts writing or just blog post writing, what we're doing right here in Google Trends is to see if we have demand for some of our services. So let's hit enter blog post writing, blog post, not wiring. <laughs> That's a typo writing. There we go. Let's see enter. Boom. We can see we have a nice graph showing that there is a lot of demand and search for blog post writing. And by the way, you can ask ChatGPT for different niches and offers you can participate in. So for example, I can go to ChatGPT right now and ask it, hey, I want to um, make money, money selling services to people using only AI. Give me some suggestions. All right. And I'm going to hit enter these typos. Uh, I'm going to fix them. If I hit enter, ChatGPT is going to give me a bunch of examples. AI research reports, AI ad creative generation, as you can see, custom ebook creation, 
AI course builder, AI email campaign. So as you can see, you can do the research yourself. But coming back to our example, this was stage one, choosing an offer. We've decided to create a blog post for other people. Now we're coming to the niche and the client niches you have to target. And here I like to quote one of the smartest OGs in marketing ever, Dan Kennedy. He's one of the greatest of all time, the GOAT. He's actually the father of direct response marketing. And what he says is that it's easier to make money selling to rich people than selling to poor people. So in client inquisition niches, we have to focus on people with blogs that have money. I have a bunch of examples for you, but don't feel constrained to only these examples. Now I have fitness coach, then I have real estate agents. Real estate agents make big commissions, so um, respectively, they might have some money. Shopify store owners, Shopify is a platform where you can create your own online store. So presumably Shopify store owners have money. Then we have marketing consultants, pet brands, and travel bloggers. So far we have validated a offer. I mean, we have validated that there is a demand, there is a search for blog posting. Next step is to actually pack your offer. You have to, you know, give an offer to potential clients. And here we can say this could be actually stage two, but for me, it's just part of the first stage. The offer should be something like the, your clients, potential clients will understand and it should be crystal clear. For example, you can put something in your bio or in your offer that stays like this. I will create three high converting blog posts for your blog to increase your traffic and your leads. This could be leads, signups, uh, sales, etc. for just hundred bucks. I mean, this is how much you're going to charge, or maybe you can charge hundred bucks or 50 bucks. It's up to you. You can experiment with uh, the price point. This is a pack, pack of three high converting blog posts. And we have to say that three high converting blog posts using AI for your blog. I mean, they have to know that you're using AI, of course. By the way, if you're selling your service for hundred bucks, you need 10 clients to make your first $1,000. Respectively, if you increase the volume and charge even more money, you might need four, three clients, two clients. I mean, if you charge two clients 500 bucks, you have your first $1,000. There we go. Stage number two is finding the clients. One of the best ways to find clients is directly using Facebook groups. Upwork and Fiverr is good, but Facebook and LinkedIn outreach is perfect. And I know probably you're thinking, oh, Ross, but Facebook groups is outdated. No, it's not. I mean, a lot of professionals, marketers, uh, store owners, book owners hang out in Facebook groups because they share knowledge with one another. They share intel, they share expertise. So if you hang around them in Facebook, you can actually, as you can see, here is one Facebook group called Bloggers Supporting Bloggers. You can start hanging out with people in here. Here is another group just called Bloggers. This is a Facebook group. And again, you can start hang out in the group, start providing value, start get to know people and then present your services. Another way is to go from book to book and on each book at the bottom, this is one of my books, by the way, at the bottom, you'll find this place where it says contact and you can start contacting people over their emails one by one who have books. But in this case is a bit different because on Facebook, they already know you. If you're hanging out in a Facebook group, you can start sharing knowledge. You can start sharing tips and tricks. And in fact, I have a template for you right here, down here. Let me show you the Facebook value post. By the way, let me know in the comments below if you want this entire uh, file. If you do want it, I'll send it to you in the uh, comments. <clears throat> Here I have a value post for you. This is the hook. Here is how I got three blog posts done in under an hour using ChatGPT and my client thought I wrote them all from scratch. Okay. And this is a blog post for Facebook. AI is changing the content game fast. I've started using it to help small business owners and creators crank out content 10 times faster. Here's what I do. I use ChatGPT to structure and do the draft for the article. Then I plug, uh, I, I plug in relevant keywords. Then I edit the tone to match their brand, either uh, fitness or real estate or pets or Shopify store owners, as I, we saw earlier. And then I finalize and format it in Google Drive or Google Docs. If you want me to help you out, create three solid blog posts this week, drop a comment, DM me, just 100 bucks and I'll handle everything. Now you can remove this 
So it's just like that without asking people to buy anything from you. You're just giving them value. But the second way, like I said, is through emails, finding people's emails over books. Now you can go on Google and just type books about fitness. Lots of hundreds of thousands of books about fitness. You can go one by one, but you have to be hyper personalizing all the emails that you're making. Let me show you what I mean by that. I myself have received a ton of emails from different people, but the ones that stand out and the ones that I hire are emails that are hyper personalized. So here is a real example. This is an email I received the other day. This is June the 5th. Now it's June 6th. The guy's name is Johan. And he says, hi Ross, John recommended me your Profit Avengers group. Just checked it out and it looks super solid. So I wanted to reach out. I recorded a quick two minute Loom video that could bring you 50 to 100 warm members into your school group. Now, Profit Avengers is my private community on school.com for which I charge money. So this guy clearly did the research on me. He found out that I actually have this school community, which is a paid community, etc., etc. And he claims that he can help me bring even more customers in 14 days without ads or expensive funnels or complicated funnels. And on top of that, he created, look at this, he created a video for me, hyper-personalized experience. And if I click the video, I'm going to go to Loom right here. You can see, I'm not going to play the video because I want to keep this person's privacy, but he made a dedicated video just for me. That's what I'm talking about. And this is the people I like to work with, people who spend time to research what I do and my business. And this in my eyes is, yeah, they really try to help me out. And now it comes stage number three to fulfill your offering to actually provide what you promised so you need just three softwares that are mostly free to deliver your products or your services chat gpt grammarly and actually canva or pictori but canva is perfect for visuals so we have chat gpt in chat gpt you can craft an entire blog post related to whatever topic you want. Then the second step is to copy and paste the blog post inside Grammarly. As you can see, this is my Grammarly account. Grammarly helps me out to change text, to um, correct sentences, to change meaning. So it's very good software. And finally, you can use Canva for free again. I mean, you can create a free account on Canva to create the visuals, to create a template or a bunch of images related to the specific blog post you are writing. And here I have a prompt for ChatGPT that, that is dedicated for anyone who you know wants to provide services with blog posts. And here I say, this is a prompt for ChatGPT, but you literally copy and paste this prompt inside ChatGPT. Let me show you, let's create a new chat. I'm gonna paste this literally here and it states, write me a detailed blog post around 1000 words for a business niche. This is a business niche, uh, it's gonna be a fitness, fitness, um, transformation let's say this is going to be the audience for fitness fitness transformation uh, like this and the topic is the topic is going to be how to um, get lean in i don't know 20 days there we go this is the topic and now make it informative seo friendly and formatted with H2 subheadlines or subheadings. This is important for blogging. If you are not familiar with blogging, H2, H1, H3 are very important. So I'm telling the two, make it um, uh, formatted with H2. Use a friendly professional tone. And this is important. Don't sound robotic. I can actually add to this. Make sure it sounds like um, a friend is talking to a, uh, come on, come over here, a friend. There we go. Make sure, make sure it sounds, or ensure it sounds like a friend is talking to a friend. There we go. And then I'm going to hit enter and ChatGPT is going to craft the entire blog post. Now I have some optional add-ons you can uh, include, include a brief intro and CTA. CTA stands for call to action to prompt people in the blog post to click something or to sign up for something, etc. And then I can, uh, you can use use us english spelling as well so i have some more ideas here in this file and now stage number four after you have completed all the three stages above all the previous stages you have your clients you have your books you've written a bunch of books you deliver them through google drive you paste them into the google drive 
uh, Google Word or whatever it's called, Google, I don't know, it's, I just call it Google Drive. Final stage is to increase your revenue, is to, instead of making 100, 200 bucks, you can increase the revenue by upselling people and giving some add-ons. For example, in stage number four, once you have made your first sale and your clients are happy, you can actually tell them, hey, this is an upsell. Do you want four more books per month for 150 bucks? So this is recurring. It's important. This is vital. It's recurring, meaning you're going to make a retainer for clients. They're going to be paying you monthly. This is essential for recurring revenue. And again, you can play with this price. You can charge them 100 bucks, 150, 200 bucks. It depends. Experiment, see what works for you, see what works for your clients. Then you can automate the delivery using AI agents. AI agents is something that is brand new and it's going viral in the current weeks. And I actually have a video dedicated for AI agents. I'm gonna post it down in the description below so you can watch it and you can see how it works. But you can automate the entire work so you don't even have to deliver the product yourself. I know it sounds crazy, but yeah, AI is taking over guys. I'm sorry. And yeah, this is what I was saying. Move to recurring clients. Try to recruit people on a monthly basis. Give them more blog posts and more blog posts or provide them with something else. Now that you wrote them the blog post, tell them, hey, I can optimize your book with keywords or you can creating short videos for the specific blog post that you're uh, writing. And that's pretty much it. Congratulations. This is the way to your first $1,000 online using AI. I know it sounds kind of pretty simple, but that's it. The only thing that is stopping you right now from your 1,000, even 2,000, 3,000 dollars online is action. Maybe 99% of the people out there are like me. When I was getting started, I thought, oh, it's impossible. Nobody's going to hire me. I'm nobody. I couldn't even speak English when I was getting started. So I didn't believe in myself. But the moment I started acting, the moment I actually started implementing, I got my first client. And then guess what? After a couple of days, I got my second client. And then a couple of weeks later, I got my third client. So it's all about action. Do the thing. Do the thing right now. Comment on this video that you're going to start doing the thing and come back in one month. I'm going to keep you accountable. And after one month, come back and comment that you have your first client or comment once you have your first client. Just keep it in your notes that you have to comment on this video once you get your first client. So guys, I forgot to ask you to like this video if you like the information I'm providing and subscribe to the channel for more tips and tricks. I hope you enjoy this video tutorial. And by the way, if you want to see how I make money with other business endeavors such as affiliate marketing, which is pretty interesting, I'm going to list that video here in the corner on the left or on the right. So click that and watch it next so you can see how you can increase your earnings by going to the affiliate marketing road. Cheers.